Am I paying for the extra dust? I love. <laughs> Hello everybody, so today we're gonna visit the Conrad in Las Vegas at Resort World. I'm gonna show you guys our experience. Now, we did stay on a Saturday, we requested for a strip view, and it was only one night. It was pretty expensive, but in my opinion, it was worth it. There's only one thing that I we were kind of unhappy about, and I'll talk about that at the end of the video. Now, as you walk into the entrance, to your left, there is gonna be a complimentary bar that you can chill, drink, hang out. We did arrive about two hours early for our check-in time. Some hotels will let you check in early depending if the room is ready, but for us, it wasn't ready. We had to wait about two hours for our room to be available. I don't know if it was like that because it was a Saturday. In my opinion, I felt like that this is on purpose and you guys are gonna see why I think that. <laughs> We will show you our experience when we went to Sun's Out, Bun's Out, but to your right, there's gonna be a restaurant. We didn't go there, but it looked pretty cute. Look at this, look at how nice it looked. Nice and fancy. A lot of nice little decorations. Now, when you enter through another entrance, you do see a lot of memorabilia of, I forgot his name. Let me, let me, I forgot his name. <laughs> Okay, I googled it. His name is Liberace. <laughs> He's all over the place. This is all of his stuff. His stuff is basically scattered all over the hotel. As you can see to your left, there is a Starbucks for all you caffeine, caffeine fiends. When you arrive to the middle part of the casino, you're gonna start to see a bunch of bars, amazing bars, let me tell you. It's, every bar has its own theme. Bro, it smells like Victoria's Secret in here. Dude, it's... It smells like Victoria's Secret. Now they also have a food court area where they have all kinds of stuff. We didn't visit any of the places that were here in this middle location next to the casinos, but the vibe was so cool and they had a lot of dessert stuff. Didn't try it either, but something that you guys can try if you ever visit this hotel. I would really recommend it. They make some bomb ass desserts. I had footage, but I couldn't find it because somebody had recommended some like really cool ice cream and I was like, oh my gosh, so I would really recommend visiting this place they got cats all over the place spirits wine and spirits what is going on here so this is a winery i don't drink wine but this is fancy as you explore the hotel you're gonna see a bunch of art installations and they're really neat and fascinating and state of the art and super new like i mean some of the stuff is not that new but it's nice Now at the end of the night, we do visit this restaurant. It's really pretty. You're gonna see our experience and hopefully it'll motivate you to visit the restaurant because it was actually nice. But on a real note, we did have some cons about this restaurant and you'll see what that is later on. Now the past me is gonna take over and I'll come back and talk to you later. So right now I'm exploring the second floor we were trying to find places to sit because this place and Conrad, or just in general, they're really smart because there's nowhere to sit unless you're at a bar or in a casino or playing the slots. Oh, conference rooms. So if you need to do conference, here you're at. So these are conference rooms. But if you want somewhere to stay, here it is while you wait for your room. Cause right now we checked in like about an hour early. Actually two hours early and our room wasn't ready. So we're exploring, we're seeing, and right now we're in the second floor. And as I mentioned, it's a pain in the booty finding somewhere to sit. But if you come to the second floor, you've got all kinds of sittings. Let me show you right over here. If you're waiting for your 
for your room and you don't want to spend any money, you come here. You sit right over there. Right over there. Now, I'm trying to find the gym. I want to see how spiffy the gym is. Here's a shot of myself. <laughs> I know I have a weird fit. I'm wearing a sports bra. Ignore this. With my winter jacket and my winter <laughs> my winter hat. <laughs> and it's hot as fuck outside. It's 105. There's so much sitting out here. There's so many. See, right here is where it's hot, you guys. You just wait right here. more seats. Sit, sitting, 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 sit, 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 sit. And then you got more seats over there for a bigger family. This is the area where they might hold um, concerts. It could be wrong. <gasps> but look at this. Oh my God. Tell me that doesn't look cool. Oh, so cool. This looks really, really cool. I bet you those are um, EDC fireworks. Good music. Chill music. I found it. Spa. Fitness. So, on a mission to find the spa and fitness. This is a cool thing about coming to these hotels is that I've noticed that, and I'll give credit to Pomzi. I mean, he'll go to the gyms and I'll get to see the differences between the gyms depending on the hotel. So I'm really curious to see if this high-end hotel has amazing gym setup. So we'll, we'll see. So we go this way. Fitness. Ooh. I don't know why these doors are here. Let's see. Spa. Fitness. Ooh, so it's open on 5 a.m. to 9. I don't know if I can even have access. Oh, I do. Such a good gym. I'm impressed. <laughs> I really am. I'm impressed over the gym. I didn't want to film because I just they did. They they gave me permission to film if I wanted to. Just kind of just kind of um, see and walk around and see what they have. But I didn't want to bug people who are working out. <clears throat> I know how that feels when you're working out. I was like, yo, back mind your business. <laughs> so I'm gonna come back um, with my gym clothes and try some of the machines kind of like get me going get me in the flow i got so excited being in there i'm like i miss going to the gym once you're in you kind of remind yourself like why you like going to the gym and that happened to me right now and they even have a massager we just realized that realize. that this thing charges your phone these yeah. little these little these little tables look So it's being charged right now? Is it charging? Yeah. It doesn't say. <laughs> so that means it's charging, right? I hope so. Well, yeah, look, proof that it's charging. <laughs> so it's one of. <laughs> It's gonna be in one of these little tables and they're around the conferences room. So if you guys don't have a charger, just come up here to the second floor and charge your phone. Sit here, nice and comfy, and charge your phone. Look, they're everywhere. One, two.
look at this, I appreciate this. They said, if you remove this longer than 30 minutes, I mean 30 minutes, 30 seconds, they're gonna charge you. Thanks for the warning. That's a good way of not getting sued. <laughs> Cause someone can sue them for that. That's smart. Thank you for warning me, I appreciate that. I won't touch it, I promise. You can tell that a lot of people don't touch it because look how dusty it is. Can the cleaning people dust this? Because how is someone supposed to touch it if it's dusty? Am I paying for the extra dust? I love. <laughs> am I? Like, I get it. But am I paying for the extra dust? <laughs> you guys can't be doing this. No, no, no. The water, oh yeah, it's dusty, you guys. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If someone really is gonna wanna spend money, they're not gonna wanna do it. Or maybe they won't care. Who knows? There's a lot of dust. Let's see the restroom again. So this is the inside of the restroom. It looks really cool. It's nicer than my house, that's for sure. Like, oh, we got a waterfall. I can't wait to try that. This makes me excited because I'm out of house. <laughs> we got some free shampoos. I'm gonna try this out, see how it is. You get to sit or do some crazy things you want. PG-13, sorry about the mess already. Let me clean this up. Mm -hmm. Even though it's not my house, I still want it to be clean. Mm -hmm. Let's clean this up. Okay. It's actually kind of nice that they have this little light underneath. A little touches. And then you got your mirror. You can see my little bigotes. That's a really good mirror. <laughs> Like, really good mirror, like, look at this. Give me some privacy when I take a shit. Give me some privacy when I can take a shit. Oh, I thought you were in the toilet. Oh, okay, so you replace here. And then you put, I appreciate these little things. I do. Ooh, we get robes, we can feel fancy. And we get little booties. Oh, it turns on. It's free. So we just made it to the last hour and it's the infinity pool.
like this. You got clam chowder and then you got this little bread. You can't see it, but it looks it looks gold. me again so we did say that it was our anniversary even though it wasn't and they gave us a free dessert and it was really delicious overall our experience was amazing in regards to their customer service it's probably the best customer service we've ever had now the sushi was super expensive in our opinion we've eaten sushi before in the past so i would say skip the sushi and try other dishes you haven't tried as for the noodles they were really delicious i would get that again Alright, so this whole meal costs us like $40. I'm willing to eat it because it's something different, so let's see if it's good. This is Albert's and this one's mine. I didn't want avocado. If you want avocado, it's $2 extra. And this one's $7 and this is $10, $10. And the coffee's $5. The breakfast was amazing. I give this place a 10 out of 10. I would definitely recommend this place in a heartbeat. Now, my overall thoughts about the room. It's just, it was a really nice room. The only con that I have about it is when we asked to stay for another extra two hours, because some hotels, they allow you to do that where you request like, oh, can I extend my time? They were like, nope, absolutely not. You need to get the f out. Not like that. But we were kind of like, oh, that sucks. That was the only pretty big con. Other than that, their bell servers was amazing. I give this place a nine out of 10. All right, everyone. So that's the end of the first video of my trip to Vegas. On the next video, we're going to visit Area 15. And I'm going to show you guys the experience. It was really fun. Please don't forget to watch the second video. You won't regret it. And as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching till the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.